All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is Natalie Jordan. I am the Vice President of the Board of Directors for the Isla Vista Community Services District, and I will be serving in Ethan's Burst Trans seats this evening and chair this meeting. Um, I'd like to call this meeting to order. And I'd like to announce that this meeting is being recorded. Can you please do roll call, Spencer? Director Bertrand. Director Jordan. Here. Director Brent. I say here. Director Freeman. Here. Director Hedges. Here. Director Geis. Here. Director Thurlow. Here. Awesome. We will now be moving to a public comment period. At this time, any member of the public may speak on matters within the subject jurisdiction of the board of directors that are not on the that are not on the agenda. The board will not take action on any item not on the agenda except as provided by law. Is there any public comment? All right, one more time. Is there any public comment? All right, moving on to item three, discussion and action items 3.1. Consider recommendations on acquiring office space in the Isla Vista Clinic building. Here, report from the formation committee regarding recommendations to the board regarding acquiring office space in the Isla Vista Clinic building, including but not limited to deferred lease payments for a period of two years. Please see attachment A. We are now going to refer to Dr. Geis. So I think you, you also want to read the motion from our formation committee, um, which is a motion to re recommend to the full board that they consider leasing of the clinic supervisor office space as part of their negotiations with the university. And they seek to determine that the county would consider as part of the lease arrangement that the county would consider postponing collecting rent for two years. So the gist of our conversation is, you know, the, the county said the rent's going to be Eight. approximately 14000 I didn't hear that directly from the general services director, but I, I will get in contact with her. The difficulty is they want us to pay 14000 And in the formation committee, mm -hmm. we said, well, let's go open up and have a committee go talk to the university and start talking to them about what are we going to do with the 200000 We also have the internship program in place. We also need a place for our interns if we're going to expand the program. So what we are saying is, does anybody on this committee, I mean on the board, have any good like strategies where we could do some creative financing that maybe the county would be interested in? And that's what we're kind of looking for on this item is to say, well, what, what, what do the other board think could work that we could go back to the county and reasonably talk the county into that space. Um, at, I mean, because every meeting we come here, it's vacant. Mm -hmm. We know it's not being used. The back room is just a storage room. Um, you know, when you really think about these facilities, they're still being paid off by redevelopment dollars. They've got to be used for governmental use. If you really know how redevelopment worked, it's all the taxing agencies in the county that paid for these buildings and when they're fully paid for it just so happened on the redevelopment dissolution that the county got titled to the buildings back because that's how the law was written um, you know there's no nothing fair in divvying up taxes and transferring assets between government so i'm just trying to think of some ways uh you know at least at least one member of the board says well i'm not going to make a decision on this because it's not before the board mm -hmm. and so we need to come back with a good proposal, I think, to the county executive office that sh she would feel comfortable mm -hmm. with or the office would feel comfortable with putting back before the board of why, um, why and how we could get that space, especially since the university rented it on a lease bid basis and so did the uh, Isla Vista Youth Project. So I know he had his hand up, so. Dr. Freeman. Um, so I, I, my, my first question is to see the $14,000 amount that they've talked about for renting that office space. Is that I assume that's under an assumption that we would become the owner of that office space, I said, like that that would become all our space, only our space? Uh, that, that's, that, that's maybe one option. You know, the, the reason why I ask is I'm just wondering, um, I, when, when, this, when this had first like, had been floated, the idea of doing that, I kind of assumed that we would only be expected by the county to pay some fractional rent for like sharing the office mm -hmm. with uh, other like the third district could also use it as a meeting room like they currently do which is seldom and we, no, we could can't. seldomly use it and we can't reuse it. wait we'll be going to public comment in just one moment okay. thank yeah. you is there any other I consider it myself have heard that or not? Yeah. <laughs> um, is there any other comment on this before we go to the public 
Awesome. Yeah, your turn. <laughs> uh, since Supervisor Hartman has been sworn into office, we have not used that office. Awesome. Thank you. Um, oh, the second thing is to answer your question. I think that at 14000 or whatever the, the total would be, then that would be for your sole use, just like the other people mm -hmm. who, who pay that. It's for their sole use. But okay, I, oh, I wait did one not, second. I We're still in public comment. Sorry, just one moment. I saw Jonathan had his hand up, and then after that, we can come back here, and then we can make a decision. But we should do it within one sweep. Uh, Josh Potkey, as well, know him. He messaged me uh, that the county currently gives the nonprofit Montecito Association free use of the building in Montecito. They have offices and a meeting room. So I don't know. He said that it might be shared with the library, but that's something to maybe get more information about. Awesome. Well. One second, we still have public comment. <laughs> the, the the sooner for the office space, I believe, the better, and especially so if like you could put into there a, a telephone um, that would also kind of go along with the business card idea that um, so that you can have some you know a line or uh, a, a message like a messaging or answering machine or whatever that will take calls and put someone in there. Um, yeah, that's basically what I would say. Thank you. Is there any other public comment before we move back to the board? This is not going to be your last opportunity. We'll be making a motion and then coming back to the public one last time. We're going to be coming back to the board. Director Hedges. Um, w would, it, would it violate anything if we were to inquire, say, of the CEO what might be acceptable? I'm, I'm not a lawyer. I think that's a motion. I, I, I mean, I would, I, I would, I would love to make that call. Well, well, let's do it. Let, let me just say I have inquired, uh -huh. and um, yeah. It, so, so there's some complications with this particular building. So you can bring up the Montecito Association. Yeah, they're probably paying free rent. Help a resource thrift center. Now oh, they pay a buck, and they own, you know, the, uh, they have acres of land. Yeah, yeah. The, the, food the, bank. Library, the food bank. The food bank. They a they buck. pay a buck. The, the um, you know, the, the, uh, we own the museum, they pay a buck. We own the libero theater, we used to own the county bowl. <laughs> they paid, <laughs> you know. And so the problem, the difference between the, this project and those projects is this, this is still being paid off by redevelopment agency bonds. Mm -hmm. They entered into mm -hmm. a legal set of bonds that says this can only be used for governmental use until those bonds are paid off. And so they also, you know, there is a net cost to the general fund that I believe for the community center in this building. And so that's what, what and, and when, when the organization was formed mm -hmm. and the board members on LAFCO uh, said, you know, if, that, if this passes and that taxpayers don't turn around and ask the general fund for money, and that's the thing that they're, we're dealing with to get the board to approve is how, how do those members of LAFCO vote for this if it costs the general fund money? And that's what we have to get around. So, so, so just to ask you. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, Well, no. I was going to ask you, would it help move the process forward if we direct the president of the board to send a formal letter to the county and essentially indicate our interest in a lease arrangement that uh, with the county for that space that would be over a period of time and which would uh, take into consideration our current financial situation as well as our potential future. I, I think that's a great that's, idea. All right. So Is that formally on, uh, open that. Yeah. That's what Father Edge was yeah. saying. Yeah. So exactly. moved. Do you think that we could articulate that into a motion, please? So the motion is. Will, are you on the Google Doc? All right. So the motion is to. Can you add me to it? I did. Direct Ooh, the president of the board to send a letter to the county administrative office uh, asking them to. What are we going to ask them? Asking them to inform us of what amount of money they would need for us to rent that space, taking into consideration our current financial situation. I'll second. 
Second by Director Brandt. I'm going to read back the motion in just one moment whenever I can find it. Motion from, ooh, one second, let me see. Motion from the Finance Formation Committee to advise the full board to seek acquisition of the office space in the Isla Vista Clinic building is not from the Formation Committee. There's a motion. What are you on? Is it, where are we? I'm trying to find you guys. Can you highlight it for me? Okay, motion to direct the president of the board to send a letter to the county administrator offing, office asking to inform the CSD of the amount of money they need for the CSD to rent the space considering the CSD's financial situation. Is that correct? Yeah. For pre precise this, can we change the word administrator to executive? Yeah. Executive. Yeah. CEO, yeah. yeah. Would you prefer executive or CEO? It's the county executive office. That's our title. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, so. And that was a second by Brant to clarify. Yeah. Thank you. So what I wanted to say was, um, I, I think this is a great idea. I don't know if we need to include within the motion um, something that we talked about in formation committee, which was the idea of finding creative ways to finance uh, the lease for this space. Uh, whether that would mean um, us trying to uh, come to an agreement that would allow uh, the district uh, or someone spending money on the district's behalf to um, pay for improvements to the building instead of just paying a straight cash lease or something like that. Um, I don't know, if, would it be helpful if we were to propose some ideas in this letter, or is this no. just a fact-finding thing to see what they I, fall in, put the ball in their court? Yeah. The I, I think the, the intent of the motion was to get them to come back to us with a hard number yeah. and then us go from there. And once we have a hard number, it's yeah. going to be easier to approach other people yeah. or to... Hmm. This is okay. asking to inform, so yeah. they okay. would have to inform us. Have a good evening. Thank you very much. You all too. Yeah. All right. Awesome. We're going to go back out to the public for comment before um, voting. Any... Um, any public comment? Thank you. Awesome. So any comment by the board? All right. I call to question. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? So order. Director Bertrand is absent this evening. We will be moving on to item 3.2. Consider recommendations and negotiations for grant from the University of California Santa Barbara. Here report from the Formation Committee regarding opening negotiations with the University of California Santa Barbara for the publicly pledged 1.4 million two hundred thousand dollars a year grant for mutually agreed upon services and projects and consider taking appropriate action see attachment a a create a university grant ad hoc committee charged with negotiating the terms and conditions of attaining a pledge 1.4 million two hundred thousand dollars a year grant from the university of california santa barbara b direct the president of the board to make appointments to the committee and announce them at the next regular board meeting would anyone like to um explain this are there any clarifying so questions? I, I think I think what we were talking about at formation committee is, um, you know, that we have an ad hoc committee that goes to start to talk to the university. I, I, I don't know if you're involved in that group or if it's a different committee or who they're going to go talk to, but I think we wanted to have three members of our board uh, be that ad hoc committee that could go start those negotiations and have some discussions with the university. Absolutely. Awesome. Does anyone have any, do we feel like this is a necessary ad hoc committee? To that? Do we feel like this is a necessary ad hoc committee? Yeah, I, I, I think that what, what creating an ad hoc committee would do is it would formalize the process a little more. Um, I, rather than just, say, sending the board president to do things, um, and then the committee would be able to make regular reports. Um, it sounds like the initial letter that the president of the board sent to the university has started to get the ball rolling on those discussions, and I don't know if you have more to report back on that front, um, but I think that further formalizing the process is something that the committee thought would be a good idea uh, for us to really start parsing through uh, what things uh, this sort of a grant could be used for. So does everyone feel like this ad hoc committee is necessary to, in creation? Is everyone in agreement with that? 
Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, in fact, um, I'll even go so far as to say that I mean, I've been critical of ad hoc committees in the past, um, but uh, this to me seems like a well-defined and uh, normally structured ad hoc committee. I am glad to this is well, yes. Awesome. Okay. So now that he said that, yeah. now I'm going to get his blood pressure going. Oh, let's do so. it. Well, I'm excited, George. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's, here's the problem we have is that um, the, the chancellor is insisting that, uh, now let me back up. That's not fair. Let me retract that, withdraw that. Um, Can we please say, take that out of the minutes? And just say, um, it's become apparent that I have to sit in on these discussions. Um, and therefore, there's an there's a issue with how many board members are in on these discussions, first. Second of all, since these discussions are, are incredibly sensitive in terms of uh, they're, uh, the university is not going to hold them in public. That's just mm -hmm. the university's position. Mm -hmm. um, the letter that uh, Ethan wrote prompted a response from the chancellor, um, and, I th and that was uh, shared with me in that the chancellor has uh, assigned this to David Marshall and his committee mm -hmm. to move forward. Um, David Marshall invited Ethan to come to an informal meeting to discuss how to form, how to move ahead, and with some incredibly general ideas. And I think that the university was really interested in hearing Ethan's characterization of what this board was thinking in terms of. Um, university. So it really wasn't a, a, a meeting where the university representatives wanted to hear what Ethan had to say without getting too far down the process. Um, I think Ethan wants to make a report at the next meeting. I would characterize this as an incredibly positive, incredibly positive meeting uh, that I think everybody left feeling really, really good about the process but that we need to formalize it to where, uh, to take the next steps. There's also a, an understanding that some things may have to move more quickly than other things in terms of funding, and that it's kind of up to this board to push that out there. And I would say the university is fully aware of all of the issues and challenges in terms of resources right now including office space, including mm -hmm. insurance, so. Awesome. So you're basically saying that this ad hoc committee can't really work? No, no, no. Ad, it should be an ad hoc committee because, it, first of all, its meetings cannot be open to the public because it's going to have meetings That's with the university. Must be. So, um, you're, you're about to explain some limitation on the number of people or something like that? Well, since I'm there. sitting in the room, you now have three board members present, uh, which, you know. With three? Or if you have two people, people you're, you're, it, well, once you oh. would have, okay, so it's okay to have two. Oh. If you were to have three and I was there, then yeah. that becomes the yeah. board. Or so mm -hmm. the yeah. issue would be is you need to have two people. Um, well, that would yeah. be. Just well, saying. we would just put you on the like on the committee. I think you. you he doesn't want to committee. be on the committee, no. so we should have an ad hoc committee. Of you two. should have two people that are not, because frankly, when I'm in sitting in that meeting. Well, I'm then we can't do it, can we? Sure, you can. You can have two board members. Yeah. Oh, just in total. Two board members that plus group. George, and then I'm sitting yeah. in the room. But, but you're not officially <coughs> on the committee itself. Yeah. No. Got it. Okay. Nor do I want to be? How does everyone feel about that? That makes sense? I, mean, I, think I think that makes sense. I feel unhappy, but it's not like it's correct. So I mean, like I, I mean, I, I there's just no, yeah. There's like yeah. yeah. What am I gonna Whatever that moves the ball forward. Yeah. 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 Well, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and recognizing <laughs> that some of the decision making process power is is not ours, and in the, the if the chancellor wants George in on the meetings, and that's what we have to do. Well, I, I think that well, the I, I don't want us to characterize that the chancellor wants me in on the meetings. Okay. That the uh, that I need to be on the meetings. George needs to be in all the meetings to fulfill his duties as a university employee. Um, that I, I I think that with him, uh, what we have in the 
recommendations that I put forth in item A and B, or in uh, recommendations A and B, uh, seem sufficient. Um, Would you like to articulate that into a motion? Yeah. Um, uh, well, before you make a motion, Jay, yeah. uh, this is one time I really want to hear you out in terms of, because I personally don't want to go down the road, because my neck is hanging out all over the place on this one. Uh, I really am trying to represent two interests in the best way possible. And I don't want to get way, way down the road and get cut off at the knees. So I would really like to hear what your concerns are about this process and what it could produce and whether anything that you're concerned about we could fix. My primary concern is that as you want to no. My primary concern is, as you just stated, um, you are representing two things. And we're now going to we're going into a negotiation where you are. I, I would have predicted it before, and I think that you know, I'm, I'm really I, I mean, something I'm very happy that you've stated this kind of explicitly. You are representing the university at that meeting. I mean, one concern I would have is um, the thought process on the on the board's side with relation to um, utilizing you as a resource um, because there are going I mean, at times we're going to run into situations where you're going to have to be making calls between these things and I'm, I'm expecting you maybe if, and this is my expectation I'm expecting you to fall on the side of the, the university on those on anything where there's something where there's like a, any can you contentiously come up um, many of my concerns related the reason why I stated I'm so unhappy about this mostly relate to the structure of the district that's set up at the state and AB 722 which are not like that's just that's just water under the bridge in a way and although AB 722 is coming up but you're here um, I don't I mean I guess if, when you say cut off at the knees I mean I I, I mean I, I, I I'd love to talk about it more if you have if you have like a more specific thing but like my, my, my big issue is just that we do have now a director who is also the person we're negotiating with and now we are we're going to have to have a committee with only two people and when we try to talk about this on our side um, like normally you could appoint a negotiator and that negotiator somebody you can go into closed session with and then we could actually have our negotiators talk to the other party um, we actually almost can't do that because you're one of the board members and so you'll be on both sides of the like you're it's it's just really broken to me, but I, it's not like something I can fix today. I mean, I'll actually be voting well, yes, I guess, yeah. to do this because I don't see any other way of doing it. Like, director, I and I'm not uh, uh, director Brandt. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I'm glad that we got to the root of that, and we kind of decided that that is those issues derive from things that are structural issues that we can't change as a board. We operate within a framework. It's called Government Code Six One Two Five Zero, and I. I think that what George's concern would be is that once we start to have conversations about funding and the $200,000, I would imagine things are going to be moving very quickly. Mm -hmm. And this $200,000 is really, this is the only thing we have at this mm -hmm. point that is substantive. And the concern would be that in the future, someone would someone like you would come back and say, well, I wasn't on board with the process with how that whole thing okay, went let's down. Let's make sure that, like, and, like someone like you. Well, well, I mean, George directed the comment at, at Jay. So, I mean, I, yeah, so maybe I shouldn't have parsed that. But, yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm not insulted by anything. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. So, the, because once we, like I said, once we start talking about funding, we're in a whole other ball game. And once we start what essentially is, Similar, something similar to a negotiation. Uh, you know, the things get really real really quickly. So I really appreciate the fact that George was so frank about that, uh, because if he wasn't, I think I probably would have been too. Um, well, and let me, if I can, if I can jump in a little bit more. First of all, if you were to talk to the people who I'm are part of the team over there, they would say I'm I'm tainted goods because I'm advocating for the district. And the perception of the university, seriously, is, and, and this was in a quasi-public meeting in front of a representative from the Associated Students, where I essentially stood up and said, we've got to make this district work, and we've got to, to support it, and we've got to fund it, and we can't be beating around the bush. So. So that's why it's hard for me, because actually the university folks perceive me 
as an advocate for the district. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is the district folks consider me an advocate for the university. What we, I think we should really keep in mind is what there's no interest of mine personally or professionally in any of this money that's going to get spent here. Okay. In fact, it only means that I've got to work longer hours, I've got to spend less time with my grandkids, I've got to do all these other things. And, and I want to tell you something, as somebody who lived here and who loves this community, I, I'm here to make this thing work. And at the point where, and I'm ready to quit here, this position, and have the chance to replace me with somebody else. Okay, this isn't in the... This isn't in the discussion topic, and I don't want it to digress or be something that's okay. not agendized. But yeah. it I, is agendized. But as you like, he's, he's not, he's not saying he's going to quit. I'm don't saying, say that. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 don't saying, don't yeah, scare me no, like no, no, that, no, no, George. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that at the point at the point where I get conflicted, oh, I really get now. conflicted. Ooh. No, no, no. <laughs> that was no, 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 no. At don't the point where I get conflicted, I'll step. It was rhetoric, so that's enough. You can't just scare me like that. I think we was rhetoric. This is really not where I thought this was going. I just think as, it was as a group, we need to get over this <laughs> negotiation part that this is going to be us negotiating against them. It's us trying to accomplish our objectives together. And, nice you know, that. we might have to rearrange what those objectives are because we're not bringing our piece of the money. You know, when I read that 200000 a year, it was to be matched. And I know why they wanted to match it, because instead of doing a 200000 project in a given year, they wanted to do a $400,000 project. And now we're going to do a $200,000 project. That's not what, not maybe not be exactly what they wanted to do with it, which more is related to infrastructure and those bigger things we wanted to accomplish. And so I think it's us all moving together and um, Hopefully, they're going to help us get to our objectives in the long run when we eventually get money and, and yeah. work together. Yeah. So, I, Jay, I just think if we can get rid of that us versus them and say this is just a collaboration to get there, that's where we got to go. So, anyone want to take action on this item? Um, oh, Director Freeman, I'm sorry I didn't see your hand. Um, so, <coughs> first of all, I just want to say I, I don't envy your position, George. When I talked about this to other people, I mean, they, they made the comment that, like, oh, this, is, this must be really hard for where George is sitting. And I, I agree with that. Um, there was a, a very unfortunately worded title of an article that, I, that both of us were deeply quoted in. I do not agree with this, that title. Um, my, um, when I talk about conflict of interest issues, to respond to your idea about you monetarily, specifically Wait. something, they're related to the, the this university. Is yeah, this, is, this is about the negotiation of the university. They're, they're related to... Um, the uh, um, the university um, essentially having an employee on here they're all related to structural issues that that that, 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 that they don't come down to you as a person um, uh, having a conflict of interest other than your position itself which is why then I, I continue to when we, when we go through these things I I, I think we uh, we need to be careful about about and 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 if this is right, and so you mentioned that the university looking at you is tainted. I mean, it's kind of your 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 position is sadly tainted. It's not that, and, and wait, wait, I don't want to make that sound. Sorry, it's not, I'm not saying Sorry. that like your position is bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that the, anyone who sits in your position is going to end up in that same yeah, horrible right position, which right. I do not envy at all, and which I'm. I, I yeah. thank you for taking the time and actually doing this. Um, the, uh, but it is, but it is the case that like. Yeah, I, I look at you and I'm like, oh, well, you're going to be leaning a little bit to university maybe and that they're going to look at you and they're going to think that you're leaning over here. And I think that we uh -huh. as a board, everyone else needs to, needs to, it, it is true though that like he, George but does I'm work only for one university. Vote. I'm only yeah, you're one only, vote. yeah. I'm and just, but, but it's in I'll the discussions and all these things. Right. And the yeah. other thing is, at the end of the day, this is all going to be very transparent because any yeah, deal cool. we cut with mm -hmm. the university is going to be totally you know. That's awesome. And so and let's call for the question. Would well, anyone like to articulate uh, it into a motion? Uh, I have a motion if there's no further Sorry, discussion. I didn't mean to cut you. Well, can I, I, I want to respond to Bob. Oh, go ahead. Well. Uh, so Bob, um, and then to respond to Bob's comments, is every, every contract negotiation is a combination of looking at how the two of us can do something 
that wasn't possible before, making it better for both of us. But also, there are going to be occasional things in all of that structure that are kind of like the, the zero sum negotiation part of that, where there's there's maybe um, like you're 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 going to buy a car, and there's a certain amount of there where it's like the amount of dollar that you take or a dollar that I have, and so it's just. Um, I, when, when I bring up these things, I'm, I'm not trying to say that we are diametrically opposed to university or that we sit down at the negotiation table, everything that we do is opposed. What I'm saying is, is that there will be a few things in there, such as whether um, we have a liability policy in a certain manner or whether we have um, uh, um, who's in control of a certain thing, where, 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 where one party might want in one way and another party might want it in a different way. And then we will have to kind of sit down and, and hash that out. And we might both leave unhappy. We might on that item, even though in total at the doing the contract, we both leave happy that we have the contract. And so that, that's why, it's, and, and I concentrate on those aspects when I'm talking about, like, I, talk, I concentrate on the zero-sum aspects when I'm talking about these issues because those are the only places where I think that it's concerning um, that, we, that we have the potential conflict issue. I'm, I'm, that is my, I'm a collaborative contractor. My whole idea with the contract on both parties is I just want to get to the objective. I, I don't want to argue about that. I, 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 I just want to get to the objective. And that's how you get an effective contract. And you know, we don't have to argue about the little stuff. We get to the objective and accomplish the goal. That's what, it, that, that's what I'm about. At the and end of the day, you managed to buy a car, but the price still mattered. Whether you got a good We're deal We're not going to have any cross debate, yeah. just to be clear. Right. So if anyone would like to make a motion on this so we can go to public comment, that would be great. Uh, I have a motion uh, to approve the secretary's recommendations A and B. Uh, there is a motion to approve the secretary's, secretary's recommendations A and B. If you'd like me to read out the entire You can recommendation. literally just copy okay. and paste it. Yeah. Thank you. And I would second that. There's a second by Director Hedges. Is there any comment by the board? I just want to say, do we want to say make two appointments? To the committee? Uh, it would be one appointment to the committee well, because the chair is on the the, committee. the okay. president is on the committee. Or just we make it clear that it's going to be a two person. Or I guess, I, yeah. Um, Do you want to articulate a recommendation? Yeah, can I amend my motion uh, under recommendation B to read, direct the president of the board to make two appointments to the committee and announce them at the next regular board meeting? Mm -hmm. Wait, but didn't we were saying like, if we, do you want to make a suggestion? That was what he was asking. If I'm correct, right? I'm sorry. What a suggestion? Like a suggestion, suggestion of who? person. Who? Oh, I didn't say. I wasn't saying who. I think we were going to leave that to the president. Oh. I think Bob was just saying that we should mm -hmm. specify the two as opposed to leaving mm -hmm. it open to in case Ethan comes back with three. Well, he wasn't here oh, for the discussion yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, the three. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. all right, is I'm going to read this out then. There is a motion to approve the secretary recommendation to create a university grant ad hoc committee charged with negotiating the terms and conditions of attaining a pledge $1.4 million $200,000 a year grant from the University of California, Santa Barbara. And the second aspect, and <clears throat> direct the president of the board to make appointments to the committee and announce them at the next regular board meeting. I think we amended that to say two appointments. Um, and there was a second by Director Hedges. Is that friendly with you? Awesome. Is there any discussion by the board? I'd like to just articulate for the minutes that just in my current not done with IVP state, I cannot be one of those persons. So I just want to make sure that my time commitment is made clear so that I'm not expected somewhere that I can't make it to. How long have you got? Oh, God. May 23rd. I'm counting down the minutes. Um, so um, uh, so that's, that's where I'm, I'm at. Um, okay, thank you. Are you going to be swearing in your successor? Oh, yes, I am. I'm so excited. Um, we're going to be going out to public comment. Is there any public comment? Do you mind stating your name for the minutes? Gina, for sure. I just wanted to say, um, to clarify that there are many instances, like there can be in government regularly, of perceived conflicts or taints, <laughs> tainted offices. Um, when elected members serve on, on other decision-making boards or are part of those types, and in fact, it's like LAFCO, retirement you boards, regional water better. boards, when you have people of a board going and representing on other boards and whatnot, and so I don't, I don't, it just seems like overblown the concerns about director Solo sort of having to respond to 
to Bolton University and to this board, if that makes sense. In fact, the, the courts have found that it's often necessary and convenient that members of boards sort of, even if there's a perception that they have two masters, like by design, this happens a lot in government. Awesome, thank you. Is there any other public comment? Yes. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to get too much into that uh, generally. The, the whole board thing complicates things even more. But because it's a university thing, there's actually no problem because the university isn't a public board of any kind. Um, my primary concern is that there's no end date for this committee. I'd like you hmm. to establish one. I'd hope. Uh, secondary concern is a clarification, please, on the nature of these conversations. Because this is actually a $200,000 a year grant uh, rather than a $1.4 million grant lump sum, uh, these conversations could be held every year for the next seven years, and I'm wondering why this isn't continuing rather than a, a, a one-time, uh, quote, terms and conditions, unquote, meeting. Awesome. Is there any other public comment? Thank you. Director Brandt. Um, so in, I, I, if I can respond briefly, I think that the whether or not the grant is a $1.4 million grant that is then spent over the portion of seven years or a $200,000 a year grant that would be need to be renegotiated by a different ad hoc committee is something that is going to be handled by this ad hoc committee given that the only thing that we all have to go off of is one letter that was written to Assemblymember Doss Williams back in 2015. So um, like the process of that, I, I mean, that's just a letter, you know. The process hasn't quite been worked out. Uh, but I appreciate your comments about how there is no end date. Um, I would uh, amend my motion um, to uh, state that the ad hoc committee would dissolve um, by the end of this year. Can you please note that in the minutes? Is that friendly with friendly the second? Friendly to the second. And when you say the end of this year, do you mean the end of our I mean the end of 2017. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's awesome. We actually, just the way that we've structured it is that we're not going to go back out to the public, but because I didn't tell you beforehand, we'll go back out. So, come on. Sure. Uh, I'm just poking you again about the scope. Still hasn't really been answered. But. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Director, about the test. Director Freeman? Um, I, yeah, so uh, I, mean, I, I, I can talk after Spencer. I think Spencer's going to respond to him. I'm not. Okay. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> um, I, uh, uh, the earlier comments I just remember uh, maybe remember that uh, so the word grant is in here, uh, and I think I kind of remember uh, Director Thurlow specifically stating that this is not a quote grant unquote at one point, and and also uh, yeah. uh, the word grant might have other connotations to it. Uh, is it is it okay that we say grant? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, yeah. It, grant is a more yeah. I think it's a better. I think it's the best possible word you can use. Okay. okay. I remember that too. Okay. Do you have anything else? Um, and but uh, and then, then there was what's in response to not the second comment that was made by Gabriel, but the first comment that was made by Gabriel. Um, I think that's what it was, um, which was about um, I uh, the go yet through it. So uh, having these conversations occur later, I would imagine that would be essentially like a contract renegotiation. I, I don't I don't feel think that this once this contract is negotiated, that this 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 committee wouldn't exist immediately afterwards. It would negotiate something initially, and then it would not exist. And then at some point later, we might decide to do something different or something, or we have to essentially have a new influx of the next budget cycle or something, and then we would construct a committee in order to, to work on that. Um, if anything, I mean, I was actually surprised at how long the committee Spencer thought it was going to exist for, but if, I, I imagine it would exist for less than that amount of time. And I'm out, and I'm not, I don't not problem, and I do too. And I have no problem with the amount of time Spencer provided. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the motion and then I'm going to call the question if there's no other discussion. Thank you. Okay, motion to approve secretary nomination to create a university grant ad hoc committee charged with negotiating the terms and conditions of attaining a pledge $1.4, $200,000 a year grant from the University of California, Santa Barbara, and direct the president of the board to make two appointments to the committee and announce them at their next regular board meeting. The ad hoc committee will dissolve on December 31st, 2017. That was a first by Brandt, second by Geist. I am now going to call the question. Uh, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Abstentions? Aye. So ordered. Director Bertrand is absent. Did, uh, you, did you record that I abstained? There you go. Um, we're going to be moving on to future meeting dates and future agenda items. I'd like to add one. 
Um, yes, go ahead. Uh, based on, I, I, I do not believe that we can really have a conversation about future agenda items on a special meeting that is uh, open in scope like this. Um, you can disagree and do it, but I, when I was looking into special agenda, special meetings, all of the provisions that you, for example, stated at our last meeting about how we can kind of like bend the agenda, uh, for, for even, even those don't exist in special agendas. So I can say anything that I want to be on the next agenda. You can send the secretary a uh, formal request to add an agenda item. Okay, that's fine. Does anyone have anything else? Uh, the next, uh, the next regular meeting uh, of the IBCSD is scheduled for Tuesday, May sixteenth, twenty seventeen, at six p.m. in this room. Thank you. Can I please get? And we're going to be moving on to item number six. Can I please get a motion for adjournment? So moved. So moved. Second. Is there a second? Thank you very much. I'm um, called to order. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Abstention, so ordered. Director Bertrand is absent. Have a good evening, everyone.